of webinar conference. So uh, my best wishes to the organizers, uh, Balkisan Negi, and thank you, Balkisan, for introducing me very generously and thank uh, you, sir. helping me. <laughs> it is because thank of you, sir. We all are here and we are you. doing much better. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. So uh, now I think we have with us our teacher in charge, uh, Miss Richa Suri Rastogi. I invite her also to speak a few words on behalf of the party. Thank you so much, Dr. Balkishan. All has been mostly said. So respected principal, sir, Dr. Professor Grantosh Kumar Jha, uh, Dr. Balkishan Negi, coordinator of Economic Society, my dear colleagues and students. Uh, I welcome you all in this uh, two-day workshop on a very popular and uh, useful analytical tool, analytical software R. Uh, I extend my sincere thanks and uh, to our principal who's always encouraged us on our all our endeavors. I thank and welcome uh, Mr. Smruti Ranjan Sahu from Center for Development Studies, Kerala, who's agreed to spare his valuable time and impart skill and training to our students and faculty. I'm sure this training will be beneficial to our students and faculty as well. With this skill, students will be able to apply the conceptual understanding of topics into practical use. So I wish all the best for this two-day e-workshop. Happy learning and all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Over to you, Dr. Balkishan. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you, and without you know, uh, spending much time on kind of you know, uh, speech and all that, we all know how important is statistical packages because we all are here related to economics and uh, faculties as well as the students. We all are economists. Unless you have knowledge uh, related to software, statistical software, which is going to be very much important in coming future because everywhere now the, 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 we have a kind of, you know, industrial revolution, industry 4.0, something in, uh, in uh, artificial intelligence and the production, distribution, management, everything is going to be in a, in a highly technocrate way. So in that sense, this is, you know, the knowledge of statistical software is very much important not only not for the students everybody who are engaged with the, the social science so if you are doing research you are uh, uh, searching for the job in in you know corporates in industries in business in academia so this is now a days going uh, over the time going to be a general knowledge which is is, is uh, required from everyone who are coming into labor market so on that way, I think that this is very much important for the student. Even we do not know any time, you know, anyway, when we came into MPhil and PhD, then we uh, come to know that there is some kind of statistical package like uh, SPSS. Earlier there was only SPSS, then we have the Stata. And then now new, you know, software is emerging because technology is changing day by day. So new, this R is coming out, right? So everybody is talking about R. So our objective every we have led foundation of conducting this kind of workshop the foundation led by dr apra sina in our uh, uh, you know department last one two year and fortunately we are keeping up that legacy over the time to imbibe some kind of you know the the capacity building among the, the students as well as the faculty so so our and other statistical you know, software is very much important for student, uh, for faculty as well as the students, right? So today in this two days uh, workshop, I am certainly I'm sure that we are not going to be a master. We are not going to be master, but definitely something the foundation would be established in our mind so that over the time we can improve, we can move towards the excellence of uh, R and other statistical, uh, you know, uh, that software, right? So the right person uh, today we have with us is, you know, a great expert in this field, R, and I know he is one of the, the among all who has a good expertise in 
in R. So let me introduce Mr. Uh, Samurathi Ranjan Sahu. He has obtained his uh, master from uh, School of Economics, uh, Central University, Hyderabad Central University. After that, he has completed his MPhil from Center uh, from Center for Development Studies, Trivandrum, Kerala, and currently he is pursuing his uh, PhD from the same institution. So. He is one of the best expertise in R. I hope in this two-day workshop, he will teach us basics a little more, the advanced in R. So I, my, my heartfelt you know, thanks to uh, uh, Sahu that he consents to be the resource person for today's uh, workshop. So without wasting time, now I invite Samruti to, uh, you know, train us, I can say, in this uh, statistical software art. Welcome you, Samruti, and thank you very much. Over to you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for those kind words. I'm um, uh, like, upfront, I should admit this thing is that I'm, I'm not an expert, I'm still learning. Yeah. And whatever I learn by applying it, uh, like while doing research, uh, uh, like doing all those data works, the data uh, which need huge uh, like involvement in the statistical software, like R's data or whatever. So I learned by applying, so I'm still learning. Uh, so that is uh, one thing. So, okay. Uh, then uh, we'll start. Good morning, all. So uh, this uh, two days, which uh, Dr. Balakrishna sir uh, told that we are certainly certainly not going to be uh, an expert in R within these two days. So R is R, uh, like most of you uh, might know it, that it's a huge statistical software, very dynamic in nature. So to, and uh, I'm trying from last four years to uh, like learn little by little, little, little. So uh, uh, in two days, like uh, what I'll uh, give you like a glimpse of that, like from basic to from like how to, uh, from installing to how to run a regression and do sometimes series analysis. So uh, that, uh, and uh, then uh, this, this will be my, uh, scheme of uh, uh, you know this uh, within these two days uh, let me share it within this uh, two days i'll i'm going to cover all these things uh, is it my screen is there right yeah hello yeah it is not busy uh, yeah, oh, yeah. It, it no, no, it's okay fine okay okay Bye. so so let's let's uh, make it uh, an interactive session uh, because R is something which uh, we, all this, whatever statistical software you say, uh, we learn by applying only. So let's make it this, this two days as interactive. Uh, we are starting at uh, like 10.55. We'll see how much we can go, like depending upon like what, uh, whatever I plan to cover today. So uh, today I, what I'll do is that uh, I'll, I'll cover the basics. Uh, you know, just this brief introduction to R, I'll start with like how to get uh, R, R Studio and how to, you know, uh, customize it, how to create your workspace in R, then how to get helps, which is, which are most important for any statistical software whenever you are, uh, you know, uh, into a problem, you have to uh, like how to get those, uh, like how to get solved. Then, uh, then I'll go to uh, data structures. Uh, like how read R, uh, read data, and uh, what is the different data structure, experimenting with the data frame. Uh, then I'll uh, like briefly uh, explain or show you like uh, plotting graphs and introduce you ggplot2, which is a more dynamic graphical uh, package inside uh, software. So those who know R previous uh, before, for them, this is uh, is not uh, that uh, you know value adding, uh, but I'll I'll try to uh, like because this this part is very basic. So, uh, but in the second day, we'll uh, we'll go like do more of like you know uh, economics and econometric kind of uh, work. 
so we'll uh, look at like different data structure available uh, like R can handle so and more, more efficiently. Then we'll go to like how to get into what get these uh, data into R and how tell R that okay you read the, this data as this in this form. Then we will do some uh, linear regression and parallel regression. Uh, modeling, then we'll uh, look at like we'll do some time series analysis there. We can all these thing, three th things we will do. So, uh, so those who know, as I told, those who know are for them this today's uh, class or today's lecture, uh, it might not be so you know value adding, but uh, uh, if you uh, like, you can look forward tomorrow's uh, lecture, uh, but. Uh, Okay, so, uh, and uh, in tomorrow we'll uh, explain in more detail all about like econometrics and all those things, like how to apply those things in R and uh, get result and interpret and uh, and what advanced thing we can do with R. Okay, so uh, can you, uh, as I told, let's make it interactive. You can interrupt me at any time within the presentation, I don't mind. I'll feel good like uh, I'll think that okay uh, I'm, uh, I'm not talking to like uh, myself only because this uh, like e uh, webinar and all those things you feel little isolated because you was only no, that, that would be uh, that would be great if in yeah, yeah, you are exactly. not getting this is a kind yeah, of yeah. Hand, hand practice you know yes yes so because if anybody is wanted to go beyond something then you can ask yeah yeah. Uh, you can ask you can ask me uh, and you should uh, keep this thing in mind that i am not a uh, you know programmer or uh, data scientist as uh, uh, <laughs> but i am like i am a phd student who do all use, who use this R and i can give you a more of uh, you know application kind of thing econometrics kind of thing so i'll try to solve whatever question you have if i uh, if i know now currently present uh, but if I don't know, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll try to get it uh, to you tomorrow. So that I'll take note of your questions. So let's make it an interactive session. It will be more helpful for me and uh, for you also. So, okay, with that, uh, okay, we'll, we'll start with uh, this basic R uh, today. Uh, so uh, why uh, we need a statistical software? As uh, Dr. Balakrishna Negi told, just uh, told before five ten minutes that uh, you know huge demand for uh, you know applied kind of research and uh, with uh, the advancement of technology and all those things, data frequency of data millions and lakhs lakhs and millions of data we are now getting. So and uh, uh, two, you can't uh, like only. Uh, use Excel sheet and look and analyze all those things. You need some uh, software which is capable of handling those uh, uh, like observation or those uh, like mini million lakhs of uh, data points. So you need a advanced software. And uh, uh, and why the uh, import importance is that the uh, importance of uh, the software comes with the uh, importance of data. So I'll start with uh, this uh, like quote, a famous uh, lawyer. So uh, it says like uh, theory without data is empty and data without theory is blind. So uh, so uh, you, you can, I can, I'll get, give you two examples for that. So you know new trade theory by Krugman. Uh, before that, the classical trade theory, they uh, observed that, okay, if you are specialized, if a country is specialized in the uh, in some resources, it will produce only that and trade uh, that and import the uh, commodities or goods which uh, uh, for which they don't have, uh, you know, uh, like uh, re uh, resource reserve in their own country. But uh, what Krugman observed from the uh, trade data is that uh, intra big countries specialized in car production are also, uh, for example, car production are also importing car and also exporting car. So had this data would not be there, Krugman would not have been invented this or introduced this new trade theory. So that's why we need data. We need to analyze data. 
uh, and uh, to advance or to progress in uh, economic uh, you know theory theoretical work we need uh, insight from the data so it's empty without uh, uh, your uh, data your theory you, you might not get uh, like advanced theory that way so another uh, is that data without theory is blind you can consider this example the sun rises soon after the roaster crows so uh, you you must have observed those who are from countryside village or even city you must have uh, seen this thing morning time if you are a morning person that uh, when uh, this roaster crows you will see that there is a there is a, a sun uh, like sun is coming up and uh, if you collect all these data across the country and run a regression you will find a statistical significant value or you have a t statistics will be high and probability value will be low so you you can say that okay uh, uh, crowing of uh, roaster uh, makes like sun to uh, rise so but that is not true that is not true because this is simple a correlation so we don't have a theory behind it so we need both theory and data to complement each other and since we need uh, data and we need accurate or proper data we need statistical software like r so uh, this that this is the importance of uh, you know data and statistical software uh, uh, like in economics so uh, like importance of statistical software what what you can uh, we can do like in economics like or you can go to any applied science that we have to uh, collect data you know now now it is like you might have seen uh, you know like if you are working in management if you are even working in uh, economics and uh, uh, some like uh, that kind of area you will see like many uh, i'll give you one example uh, is that uh, if you uh, Amazon and Flipkart, Flipkart kind of uh, e-commerce uh, seller are there. So uh, suppose Amazon, uh, uh, like director or sales uh, uh, executive or manager, wants to see in what uh, are the demand for this particular uh, uh, brand of uh, T-shirt uh, across the country. So he have to get into everyday purchase and sale of that particular brand's t-shirt and since all these data are in the you know website in uh, uh, not in a text format or in excel format you have to collect you have to collect those data and, and uh, uh, data scientists actually do this kind of job they uh, collect all those data use uh, uh, data uh, we call that as um, uh what is i forgot the name um, uh okay so uh, data collecting is a huge tax also uh, task so you 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 write you need to write programs to collect specific data of your requirement so that is they are also uh, a such advanced statistical software uh, they take the help of advanced statistical softwares not excel and uh, yeah so another thing is uh, to arrange it you know like after collecting you have to you know make sense of the data like you know you have to arrange in a you know if you are collecting male uh, or female t-shirt you have to arrange it like each by uh, with respect to one male person each uh, purchase of t-shirt with respect to one female t-shirt if you are mix it off then you will you will it, it is not going to make any sense so you have to arrange it in a proper way so and yeah that is there also another is reading and visualizing it you want to you just not like once you arrange it you want to see like to plot it you plot it whether over the year it is increasing the purchase of this particular cert is increasing over the year or decreasing over the year you that is there this reading and visualization if you are more appealing or more you know clear visualization you are getting from the data that is uh, you know uh, very uh, like good because you can precisely you know first impression uh, by uh, uh, first looking at the data itself you can say many things like from a particular from a trend or from a graph you can say many things from a from uh, yeah so that they are the, your visualization and 
uh, importance of visualization and reading uh, data columns. Then, then uh, you have to derive inference. Inference by by mean inference. What we say, you know, uh, like what we all do in econometric analysis. Okay, if this is happened, what will be its impact on uh, that thing? If some uh, like uh, uh, if particular if that particular brand uh, brand in Flipkart is started giving information, uh, uh, starting giving discount whether the sales of that particular T-shirt is increasing or not. So you have to derive an inference. So that that is. Uh, there so and uh, you like this is a simple example but if you go to more complicated data or more complicated modeling so there you need a very uh, you know advanced uh, st statistical software to give you precise and accurate uh, you know uh, inferences so then you have to uh, you can use uh, this uh, R uh, like statistical software uh, in writing document and making presentation. The current presentation which you are seeing, that I made with R, like by using R only. So, uh, and it is, you can see as, as I go along, it is very helpful for teaching. Uh, and I, I uh, like learned this thing while making this presentation when Balakrishna uh, asked me to make, uh, teach this, take these two classes. I learned this uh, thing, uh, uh, like how to show all the R codes and its result in a slide and to make that thing in R only. So that this is the importance and there are many other uh, rationale for uh, like using a statistical software in economics. Like if you uh, think about it, you will get more. So, so this is understanding this thing. Then uh, we'll see like what are the statistical packages? Mostly uh, economics or economics or uh, uh, PhD students or MA students in economics are generally used, widely used. So you have Excel sheet. We uh, everyone love Excel sheet. It made uh, our life uh, like easier. You can do uh, like many computers and all those things. And uh, I remember one of my seniors uh, in uh, Hyderabad Central University. He was working. Uh, in a multinational firm, then he came back to uh, do his PhD, uh, uh, PhD in economics. So uh, he was not uh, not capable of doing this R and uh, uh, e-views and all those things. He was doing most complicated uh, uh, econometric modeling for uh, that is you know you some someone some of you might have known Black Soul. Uh, formula uh, about stock market and financial uh, derivatives. So he was actually doing uh, those things in Excel. Excel, Excel is not bad, but uh, there are like the but it takes a lot of time and the things which can you can do uh, very quickly with a like clap of uh, with a like uh, with a with your fingertip. You can you have to do a lot more thing to get the same thing in Excel. So another is your SVSS. SVSS is uh, you know, uh, it's a, uh, it's a uh, you know, uh, command driven, it's not a command driven, it's like a menu based software. Mostly those who do uh, old people, I'll say, uh, use in primary survey kind of work, they uh, now uh, mostly do. Now it's getting almost kind of, you know, uh, I, I, I will not say obsolete, but less used uh, one. But uh, you have views. Views and rats. These two are like very good for uh, time series econometric analysis. You will see like those who are working in macroeconomics, financial econometrics. Uh, those you will see that many of them are using like views and rats. Uh, these, uh, but however, these two are not capable for cross sectional not so much uh, you know they uh, they don't have uh, so good feature for uh, you know uh, panel data and uh, cross sectional data so then we have this sas sas is a old it's a very dynamic one but uh, it's a dynamic one but it's a old uh, and less used you have stata we everyone uh, like those who are uh, doing some kind of research in economics or uh, or uh, everyone they they know stata stata is like a day to day uh, activity uh, kind of like we everyone is 
widely used, widely used in economics. So, and it's, uh, it's very good for your panel data and cross-sectional data. Time series data, uh, it's, limitation, it's limited in time series data. However, it's there after Stata 13, they have started developing your uh, like time series part of your Stata software. So, it's now uh, coming up like in Stata, like different time series models. But uh, if you want to do any cross-sectional and panel data uh, uh, analysis, you it's better to do Stata. Stata is much easier than any other uh, software, statistical software. Then you have Gretel and R. These two are the like Gretel is the you know baby uh, version of R, uh, and uh, these two are uh, uh, these two are uh, advanced dynamic. You can do many things. As I'll show you. Uh, in the coming slides, like how you can do, uh, uh, like how I can do, how R is better than. Then you have Python. Python is uh, now getting used in economic economics analysis, econometric analysis uh, analysis. So it's a relatively new in comparison to other software which I uh, told for like econometric economic analysis. So this is so this is a. Uh, this is a funny, uh, you know, uh, image I found online, uh, which is like if you compare your statistical software, uh, like if they are cars, like how they will look like Excel. Of it will get sort sometime. You you have to then SPSS is a toy car kind of thing. SAS is a vintage car, very good looking, very uh, like not advanced vintage sophisticated kind of language then stata is very compact you can't like add anything or subtract anything whatever is there there if some user written commands user written programs are there then only you can do you can't do like uh, uh, you know uh, many things like yeah so as you can see from the but r or you can see it's a army it's a army this small small Thing I compare this I compare this thing as R packages like you have lot of so many R packages a single task can be done by like many two three R packages in a two three different way it's a very dynamic package than dynamic software so uh, keep this thing in mind uh, then okay then we'll go to a brief uh, history of R software so uh, this is important. Uh, because we have to, you know, distinguish between this one and other available software. So, okay, okay. So uh, this R R software is actually based up on S programming language, which was developed by John Canvers uh, in Bell Lab other statistical softwares, for example, your Python, Stata, um, and uh, SAS, they are uh, based uh, on your C programming language. So that's why uh, when, you, when we write programs, the structure of the programs varies between these uh, Python and R, R and Stata, R and uh, uh, SAS. So its language is uh, different. So it was uh, by using this uh, S programming uh, language, uh, Rosa Ilka and Robert Gentleman uh, of uh, University of uh, Auckland, uh, they developed this R software. They are, because of their first name, it got the name of R and uh, they are the founding, uh, you know, uh, uh, creator of R package. R language, not language, R software, sorry. So, but uh, now currently it is uh, it is managed by R development core team. They have a core team. So which manage and look after all these, uh, you know, programs which are uh, like people are sending to them to incorporate uh, into R software. So, and uh, they verify it, they, uh, uh, they check it, they, then they, uh, update within the uh, within uh, include those uh, pro uh, programs uh, with those uh, uh, functions uh, you can say in R. So this is a very brief review a brief history of R software. So you can uh, like read also online and I'll suggest some book. 
to know more about like our history and uh, probably some will think that it is not relevant for uh, you know for a statistical and uh, 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 package but uh, we should we should have uh, an understanding about what is the past of this after and how it get up okay so then uh, then why are why are so we have so many uh, statistical uh, packages why why should i use r why should i use r why not uh, you know strata and uh, uh, sas so first thing is it's free uh it's not completely free but it's free for uh, you know researcher like students all those things they have uh, our development uh, uh, it is your our development core team our development core team uh, have the enterprise version of our software also the enterprise uh, version uh, includes many things where you can actually write your uh, Codes or programs functions, then uh, a, a member of uh, our development uh, core team can verify it and uh, and uh, help you in developing it. You can also you know share your you can two three people can same work on the same project at a time if you have our enterprise version. Nonetheless. our free version what i am using and what most of the researchers are using are is uh, the uh, you know basic version but it's uh, like it uh, it is advanced like anything like uh, and uh, we actually mostly need those things which are uh, is, is this help that much is i think uh, like not sufficient but uh, yeah it will uh, help like it is enough kind of uh, thing so this is this partly free so you can uh, then our uh, the state of art graphic package that means uh, you know you can uh, write your own uh, program functions and uh, update it and run it within the r without anyone's permission it's a power, uh, interactive uh, data analysis exploration that means you can uh, you know uh, interactively work with, like you can plot a uh graph and actually see like um see yeah, like what oh, oh, well, exact point where it is increasing and decreasing is is interact uh, then you can uh, easily uh, import data from a wide variety of sources uh, including text file data based management system uh, or statistical packages any kind of statistical packages which i i'll show you in the next class that how like how art also did different uh, data written by uh, data written by different statistical packages not only uh, excel so and how to uh, you can also export uh, the data which is you created or which you modified uh, using r into uh, you know diff uh, you can save those data in not only in excel format in a wide range of wide varieties of uh, uh, data format so that is uh, so this is like pretty uh, good so uh -huh. so and uh, it's is language simple it's language simple it's like very straight since it is uh, uh, why it is very straight i once i go into the data structure of uh, the uh, r uh, program you will see why uh, so uh, why it is very straight is uh, is language the code you write is that you can like you can write like you are uh, like saying this thing you are talking to you are saying are okay this do this thing now do this thing now this after this that way you can uh, yeah so it's uh, this because of all these advantages we can see like uh, why are uh, we should use r and why r is a uh you know important package or how what is different from other available packages and why we should get motivated to learn r and apply in our uh, like uh, um you know uh, work kind of yeah uh, that is so our contents advanced statistical routines yeah this this is uh, this is another point our contents advanced statistical routine not yet available for all the packages yeah 
for like mostly if you see in time series analysis uh, r is uh, like awesome you have a lot of uh, uh, package a lot of uh, functions or programs available which you will not find in neither in uh, stata nor in python so in that way r is uh, pretty much advanced so okay so another uh, most important thing is that you can uh, run r in any uh, platform you can use a windows software you can use a linux and even you can use uh, run r in your iphone so that is uh, pretty cool it's pretty very much accessible uh, that is uh, that that this is this is all the this is all benefit of r why we want to why we should uh like start learning r and yeah even though other packages are there so this is uh, then so then uh, with this motivation then we'll go into like uh, hello hello it's um, i'm listening to you yes yes, yes. you are yes, yes, yes. Uh, please make some noise in between otherwise i <laughs> feel that i'm disconnected and uh, yeah so you can stop me and uh, ask something so that will be better uh, yeah so uh, uh, so okay with this uh, with this motivation we'll go, go into like how to get uh, r and r studio is uh, r and r studio are same or they are different from each other so uh, one minute okay so so this this is the window of uh, r so where uh, and uh, you can see you have all these major things which you uh, we generally see in any even in word file also you will see all these thing but in any statistical software you can see all these things one is you, you will file file edit packages window and help this is the window this is after you install r you will get this window but what is r studio r studio is this you have a completely new environment completely different environment here you can write all your codes here you can see their output here you can see all the history like whatever you have done if you have uh, uh, like it is it is if it is saved yeah, even if you are not saving you close your r and went uh, like uh, then next time when you are opening r you will see like all this uh, past written codes and past written programs are there then all this things are here like you you have to uh, all this information which was there which was here only <laughs> now you have in the uh, in a one section where you can you have all these packages help view everything is there so this is a, is a, uh, so the r studio is different from r but r studio it's uh, it's a development over r it uses it use r to r studio use it developed by same uh, r development core team it was created by the r development core team but uh, it's a different interface uh, that i wanted to say so then and this this is r uh, then you have to how to install it so it is pretty simple like now to everyone knows like you you can uh, write in uh, google that thing okay for, uh, like download r you will get uh, like download option like how to download or uh, download for mac mac linux and window so uh, but uh, there uh, this down this this package this package uh, like download uh, like that uh, uh, exe file which you will get the for max mac sorry mac and window it differ and for linux also it differ so you uh, like maybe i'll share this uh, slide with uh, balakrishna negi sir uh, you can uh, you can uh, use the same link or you can yourself search first but but the most important thing is that you have to first install r then after that you have to install r studio without r your r studio is not going to work so then this is the same uh, for r studio okay this is pretty basic then uh, once uh, it is done then you know the default default window 
default default interface which we get a, get uh, like after installing is this i'll take you know one minute or two minute uh, to explain this particular window because this is very helpful if you are new if you already if you are already using r so uh, this might not be helpful so r the, we have four uh, like interface one is your uh, this is your script file you have to whatever you write uh, it will get stored here you have to like you, you have to write here then once you write it you just click on the run package or control enter uh, you, you have to uh, keep your cursor on that particular line and uh, say control enter if you click or run back run then all your results uh, uh, along with your that particular line of code will appear here then and whatever you are writing uh, whatever codes you wrote it will show here it will stay stay in the history and environment uh, area so you can clear it anytime you can clear this uh, whatever information is there by simply compute clicking control l and this this window is uh, very important this window is important because you know what wherever you are working it will say like in which file uh, when, when you when you are in file uh, uh, like uh, folder uh, or file uh, 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 fail this 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 uh, when you are uh, selected file you it will show you like where your exactly all your uh, uh, informations um, information are then it will uh, plot will show you like graphs which you uh, might have uh, like created which you have created by using data packages it it helps you Samaruti, it helps Samaruti. yes yes, yes. Uh, sorry sorry for interruption can you do it uh, in your r okay you okay that is a yeah. support i'll show you that uh, yeah you can this, do uh, by showing library you know by using mm, yeah yeah one minute that would be better that would be better one minute let me start r then so okay so so this when i uh, my r uh, window will not look like this it will more look like uh, kind of this so uh, because i have uh, customized it so you can do that i'm opening my r so i'll show i'll show that it will be yeah you're correct thank you and then one thing more how to import you know data from Excel yeah that that, that i'll show that everything i'll show in the next class okay. so we'll go step by step if i'll uh, like say today thing it will be confused let's learn the basics first yes. then we'll go to like importing and running model by right. using the imported right. data that would be uh, so yeah one minute Yeah, it's opening. Just a minute. So what I was saying is that you can actually customize your R to your preference. Like you can pull up this person to this, or this person to this, or this person to this, this person to this. So, so that you will have a clear view on what you are writing and what you are, uh, what results you are getting. That, uh, that is uh, actually, uh, yeah, that is very helpful if you are continuously working uh, like on R. So, <clears throat> one minute, it's getting open. By customization, do we mean that we change the yeah you, yes you you can change the uh, like this uh, this interface you can change customizing graph is different thing customizing graph is different thing that I also like after like in that graph plot those things uh, what I am saying now is that you customize your R window and uh, you that is okay I'll show you. okay so this is what this is the presentation which is just uh, is running uh, can everyone can see right uh, yeah yeah, it yeah. Is. Okay. 
so this this is the presentation which i am presenting so everything is there here you uh, i i made this presentation here so from uh, you can see from introduction to uh, like all these sections are here uh, for today's uh, lecture so what i was saying that you can actually customize this r window where you have your all the script available on the left side all these and all the outputs are available on the uh, right side so whenever you will uh, run this thing you will get uh, a result like okay so and i was uh, saying about the history and the environment data environment you have you can see that whatever i i can i can expand this uh, whatever i wrote is already here so next time when i open it i no need to think about okay what i wrote because it is already saved i can directly go and check okay this thing is the thing i can copy it and paste it if i have not saved this particular file so then another thing you was uh, thing is your uh, what i was saying is this thing is your uh, like all the uh, files now i am working on this particular introduction introduction sun to r so you can see everything is there uh, all the images all the files all the uh, you know folder is here then if you if i go to plot i have not plotted yet so it will not so the packages packages are important i I'll, i'll show this thing in uh, after two three slide how to do this thing then this view view is that uh, you know this is uh, r um, markdown it's a uh, different little different where r markdown where you can actually write uh, you know document write make slides and all those things if i do this thing uh, my slides will get up here here only so this is the thing this is the benefit of r that you have everything uh, in front of you you no need to like you know go to open another folder run another Uh, file and take the data from there or take the code from there no you have everything in front of you what you want that you have to take it out from this thing so this is that this is the you know uh, that's why this r r is uh, you know uh, easy to use as well as it's so advanced advanced and uh, you know sophisticated advanced whatever uh, the adjective you want to add it, it will get r will get fit into that So, okay uh, okay we can uh, make presentation uh, also here yeah yeah I, this yeah. presentation which uh, you are looking at this yeah. is made by r only uh, th this is my presentation you can see introduction to r smooth anand sahu i made at uh, this month updated this today so all these things you can see you can see this example new trade theory so i'll i'll show you okay uh, if you want to see i'll show you one i'll i'll live One minute. Why it is not running? Okay, ha. Huh, one minute. I'll show you how it is. It it will give uh, all the uh, you know figures, uh, all the slides here only. And whatever I'll change here, it will get updated. Okay, so we need to run it, right? Uh, yeah. You because to get into this thing, you have many other tasks are there. It's not just simple uh, like uh, you. Uh, you have to uh, many other packages are there because i i so you like r is uh, you know based on r, like some, there are some functions like there are many functions inside in build in r but if you want to do advanced thing you want to uh, you have to use different different packages so packages i'll explain that what is what are the packages and how to load on load and uh, call the different packages so uh, this is to get up to uh, like this this environment and this whatever i am doing to get uh, uh, this thing you have to do few other things um, yeah so if time permits i'll show that uh, like maybe today end or tomorrow Uh, like how to make presentation in r so uh, that is the thing uh, okay it will come here yeah yeah you can see now it is here it is you can see yeah 
okay right yeah so so uh, then i'll go to this page okay uh, okay now you're seeing my screen right the slides yeah so th that is uh, that's why like uh, you know uh, you one should get motivated to you know this is sufficient motivation to learn r and so you can do many things so once you done have done this thing like then as i told you that you have to create your workspace that is like when you are uh, doing some work you don't want to you know you have spent whole day but uh, at the end uh, you forgot to save it and next time you are when you are opening uh, nothing is there and you have to do it again five or ten hours of work so to you uh, so this 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 thing so that uh, you can't uh, you know lose your work you have to create your space in r or the place uh, like you have to create a folder kind of thing which are uh, in r we call it directory so you you can say that you have a new directory existing directory and uh, control version so this this two are uh, what we are talking about now you have to create a directory of like how to create a new directory your workspace whenever you after maybe five year also you have the same if you keep that particular directory you go open r call that particular directory and you will see like whatever whatever work you did it's all safe there so uh, super easy no loss of information everything so this uh, i uh, created like small small videos and uh, that is there in my youtube channel if anyone want to see i because i it's uh, can't show you directly how to now it will take time so uh, it's easy uh, you can see that those videos or i can show how to create uh, directory in the uh, you know at the end so uh, this is uh, what is a directory i'll show you now uh, let me okay this okay so now you can see that this from it is saying that from JIT. So here you have to click on the new project. In the inside that it, it will ask you that to create a uh, uh, like you know file for name, give a name, then and uh, like where you want to save. Once you do that, it will save in that name. Uh, it will uh, and uh, within that a project will create it. Uh, then you have to give a uh, name for that also like so that like you in future it is easy for you to get recognized uh, to to recognize that and uh, and uh, use that so mine is from jeep so this is the thing uh, okay now this is not okay so this way you can actually i want to show you my actually wherever where i saved it oh, one minute okay uh okay this is the uh folder or you can say that directory uh, where i am working so you can see this all this thing whatever i require is there in this folder and once you create a uh, directory it will it will give you this picture r tips that is uh, the name so it will so it will give it will save all the information inside it and or you and you have to save it like whatever file uh, you know graph graph whatever you are using or data so you can save inside that so that uh, in future when you are using it will be very helpful like uh, it will save you a lot of time a lot of time so this that's the uh, use of uh, you know creating a directory so yeah so now, now, so since this is so advanced, so dynamic, uh, we, we generally get, uh, you know, lost inside it. Like, uh, you know, we feel like I, when I was started doing this thing, I was uh, so, uh, you know, helpless feeling. Sometimes I was feeling so helpless in the sense, like you want to do something, uh, you want to write some code, but uh, you know uh, you are not uh, able to do it because you know even a small pro, uh, mistake will 
uh, you know uh, will not get you uh, what you want so you need to you constantly like keep on searching or you know need to know the basics of r like uh, bas literally the basics of r one if you don't know the basics of r uh, whatever like you you can't uh, write your own code or you can write you know uh, uh, you can you can't be innovative uh, that is the correct word so you you need to know the basics uh, so uh, and uh, and those we how we get we we get from r itself so all these commands if you so don't worry i'll share this uh, slide with uh, balakrishna sir so so that uh, those who are register uh, he can share uh, them or at least with uh, uh, his uh, like college students uh, yeah so 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 these are the these are the uh, like command you know and uh, i'll also so i'll also like uh, refer to books which are like in a kind of bible kind of thing uh, for r so we will get basic to advanced from there so these are the help actually which uh, this if you type all this uh, help start it r will give you general help like in the sense like you know uh, you know basic information about r what i uh, talk so far then uh, or uh, uh, like small program like lm uh, ols program all those things then if if you are writing help and uh, within parenthesis a particular uh, you know function name what are the functions i uh, is like uh, let me make clear this thing function are are like name given to a set of codes if you call that uh, name it will run all the uh, whatever written inside it so if you will write help this thing it will give you a general uh, overview of like what is the function what is this thing and how it is uh, what it involves and all those things so this way also this is another way the example uh, this foo is a uh, function here so is it if you write uh, example and this a particular function name uh, then it will give you like whatever example is there because uh, you know r learning r if you want to learn r you can learn r uh, you know uh, by uh, you know uh, like uh, many things are there inside you can use the r data you can uh, use the r example you can use the r code so r example is that it r when uh, somebody write a uh, r package i'll say or i'll explain what is r package it uh, actually implemented that take uh, verify their code uh, by taking some uh, empirical data and run it and they actually give uh, those programs uh, in a document uh, in a that uh, if you uh, you have this full package so in that you have you will if you write data foo it will give you all the data which uh, if i have i had wrote this program whatever data i used to you know uh, you know you know to verify my codes which i wrote uh, is a, i i will also submit to that r and so that r will have all the programs all the data all the examples which i implemented so this is that is the, this that's why this is a very easy way this is the very easy way to learn r so if you want to learn ols uh, uh, regression so you write just example black bracket lm lm is the function for ols so that is uh, then uh, so this is this is also the same thing this is for to check the help for uh, you know whatever help online available so whatever data r is there reserved in inside r whatever data r is having a lot of data uh, inside uh, in the sense they are uh, whatever packages they is there their data is there inside r so vintage is uh, actually whatever like uh, all these Uh, the package the function which are using and how that uh, like all is past versions is there so so that 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 uh, so so you m might be uh, like now thinking like package 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 so uh, i and i used this term package a lot of time 
till now so now go so, let me yeah sir is r case sensitive because i have tried that code yes 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 r is case sensitive r is case sensitive okay. so but that's why a minute mistake will not it will show you then you will uh, like think uh, like uh, Like what is going wrong? What is going wrong? But uh, we will find okay. It's a capital K road small C. So that is case sensitive. Case sensitive. Yeah, Samruti, can you show this uh, in uh, again in uh, in practical? Mm. And how we yeah, can, yeah, no uh, get help from her? Uh, yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. That would be better if yeah, anybody yeah. is trying by themselves. Yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that is better. And participants, that, you can ask the question. This is a very mm -hmm. basic. Mm -hmm. If you are doing by yourself right now, so see, this is it is showing your general health, whatever information. You want our news introduction or writing our extension, all these things. This is your general example. If I will type help, well then, let me see. Yeah, it is running. Okay, or well then. If nothing happens, you should have written okay. Ah, see now you can see linear regression. One minute. Now you can see linear regression here. It is saying like how to run your linear regression. You have to write ln, then formula, all those things. So if I write what the what else like of vintage. Do not find vintage. Okay. Big oh, sorry, sorry for this. Draw a little so. Mm, it is not showing. No, this one maybe not be appropriate. Uh, okay. Okay, that is the way. That is the way. Um, okay, so this is the. Okay, data. I'll show you like data. Need to just write data and R. It is actually this. This one is running. Okay, this this okay. Error LM. Okay, this is not there. So data it will most probably so yeah. Yeah, this 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 is the thing. All these data are here. When you are, uh, you can uh, explore it. And some of the data I am going to uh, use also. I'll show you like when I am doing graph and uh, data structure thing. I'll show uh, you like some of the data. Uh, this is the general data. But when you go to package specific data. Uh, uh, Then you will uh, also find those when you go to uh, yeah. So this is the way you can get the whatever data is there. You can you just type uh, this thing. You can just you just type this thing. Or let me try. It will show you. I'll write give a name. Yeah. 
yeah you can see this data is is a data for your biochemical oxygen diamond so time diamond it is showing only few observations so uh, but uh, you can actually get all the whatever information is there inside data so this is the way uh, yeah uh, then okay now there are two books which i want to share this this uh, refer uh, kind of this these are the two books r uh, in action and r art of r programming r in action is the basic one uh, like if you uh, can cover this two book you will be like you know uh, you will you will be like uh, advanced uh, in r uh, software this is the uh, basics where you will get uh, like very uh, clear like small 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 thing very well written this is a little advanced where you can uh, it will help you to write your own functions or own packages that is the correct word so these these two are uh, like you know well recommended book this uh, my supervisor also suggested me this two book uh, yeah this these are the uh, two books yeah then you have some online helps so these are the websites where you can get lot of information from r so so you can i i'll, I'll share this thing so that uh, you also can use it use this just copy it and search it r pub is uh, is the uh, you know uh, owned by r uh, software core dev, r, r core team uh, they are they experiment with all these data examples and all those things this is rpubs.com and r project dot uh, yeah this this one r current project where you can see the different different packages so this is to so you must be thinking now that what is r packages because i have mentioned it so many times <laughs> so r package r packages are collection of r functions data and compile code in a well defined format r comes with some standard packages but most of the packages you have to install because you will not find everything in r when you install uh, when you install r but as you go on and started uh, doing your work in r you will see that okay uh, this thing is uh, can be done in a different way or you need different uh, because my your data structure is different you need different package for so these are sometimes these packages are sometimes written by uh, individuals researchers like me and uh, balakrishna sir or uh, the r development core team so if i am writing a uh, you know package for example like uh, you know i am writing some uh, extension of linear regression model so i need to verify that with data my code should be consistent it should be clear usable and uh, replicable like so that if whatever i am doing i if you also anyone who is attending this uh, workshop is can will uh, take that same code and uh, implement with a different data will get uh, result results which is which are you know required uh, so <clears throat> so that is the thing so once you do this thing you then i have to send that to our development core team then they will verify it then uh, once they verify it then i have to uh, submit everything including all these uh, data examples everything in a fully documented file then they will implement include that into our package until then this your uh, like program what package you wrote will not be uh, sometimes it uh, they uh, include it but after you know many people started using the same uh, package they find some mistake or some problem then suddenly this our uh, poor team will uh, they remove this particular package from our in that way they are very efficient so 
so how to install package that i'll show you here I'll how to install it so because this is the uh, thing if you don't know how to install it and access it uh, you are uh, like uh, you know handicap kind of thing in r so so you have to click on install here if i'll write uh, so i'll show you again <clears throat> so this this is the package uh, uh, like here from here you will get all these package so once you click here you will get this install uh, logo uh, then you have to click it ln so you can see if i write it ln it recommend me many things whatever uh, packages starts with lm lm beta lm bar lm so many things are there suppose i write plm it will uh, refer plm plm x plm m plm is a by the way package for panel data all those things so once you click on this thing it will automatically install it so it will take little time but uh, or you can do that way or you can write this particular code install package install package xls install package xls is a package to read excel data in r r you can't if you don't have this particular package you can't read excel data r basic default data which are read is in comma delimited uh, uh, values format so this is but if you want to read excel data so you have to install excel package this thing uh, excel and csv and other data format i'll explain in the next class and i'll show you how to import it exactly that part will cover next uh, uh, session because uh, it will otherwise it will be mixed up uh, uh, because i want to show you like what is how they are actually read uh, recognize the variables recognize the uh, you know uh, yeah how what is the basic data structure of r once we know the basic basic data structure of r then we can move on to uh, our own data taking our own data and experimenting with that so the then this this part will cover in the uh, next uh, next class so but you should keep in mind is that uh, packages are everything in r without packages r is nothing uh, yeah something is there but if you want to do some extra thing uh, for example you can't uh, ex import an excel data if you don't have excel as package so this thing you should keep in mind so that is sometimes we think that okay why i have the data i import i am importing but why it is not getting read because your the package which is required for uh, reading that particular data is not there so how many time you uh, import how many time if you try many time also you are not going to there because you don't have uh, like what is required uh, to read that data that's why i showed you that particular picture is that r is very diverse and dynamic in the sense like but uh, like you have a set of thing apart from that there are many things which are externally available and you, which are externally available and you have to uh, you have to import it uh, load it and call it that is the thing so i hope this is okay this is uh, once you install it this you can see that is installed uh, it will show this in plm successfully install one of those things so once it is done you have to actually load the package by by calling it as library this if i'll write it here you can r will recommend me you can write it here as well as here so you can so you can see we will write it plm and run it it will run it is now 
I can do all the panel analysis which uh, is supported by this PLM package. So that is the thing. So you need to uh, install package and load it and call it as a library. So if you have installed it, but you have not called like in that particular script file, that means this is my uh, you know uh, file where I am working. So if I have not called this particular thing, and even though it is installed, if I have not called uh, this thing, it will not read it. So you, you can't, uh, that is the thing. So you have to install it and you have to call the uh, package, like give invitation, okay, you come here and <laughs> I'll make use of it, you. So that is the idea. So we have to call a package every time we use it or just after. Sorry, I, I can't hear you clearly. So we have to call a package every time we yeah. use it or just after installing it? After, no, uh, like uh, suppose uh, you are in different, different uh, folder in the sense like, uh, I'll give you an example. This is one place where I'm working, right? But uh, I close it, then when next time when I open it, I have to again call it. I have to again call it. So, or you can create a folder of all the oh, packages. Huh? Oh, Sorry. Could you please once again explain the calling uh, thing, please? So this is basically once uh, you understood like how to load, uh, how to load the package, right? You have to yes, click, on, click on this thing, then or you have to click, you have to write this particular line is uh, one minute. You have to write this particular line. I am STA. Install packages. Then you have to write this thing XL or PLM. Once you run it, it will install. If it is not already installed, even if it is installed, then it will again install it, this particular package. Once you have uh, this package installed, then you have to call it every time you, you work, every time you open uh, this particular, uh, you know, file. So this, this, this is, this I can, this is, this we call script file, our script file. Every time you make open a uh, script file, you have to call this library, whatever library you have. Suppose example, uh, Library X L S X. Okay. Library means uh, packages. Right? Yeah, yeah. Library library means calling the packages. So calling to your library. So, so if you want to function uh, with that packages, you need to call it here. Yeah, yeah. So see, you can. Yeah. If you want to do uh, like you want to use uh, Excel data, then you have to call. Uh, you have to install XLS package and you have to call it. Uh, if you are calling, installing. you cannot use, right? No, without calling, it's a like guest kind of thing. You have to right. you have to tell them, okay, you come to my home, I'll make use of you. Right. <laughs> Everyone getting Vidhi and Hadia. Sir, I wanted to understand something here. Uh, yeah. Like you are naming a lot of packages, like you like you showed us. There's an LM package, and there are other packages, but mm -hmm. I don't understand which packages for what. Like I'm no. getting new to it, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that is, yes, yes, yes. that is that is see that that's why that's why uh, the help uh, thing, uh, the help slide which I showed you, that is actually uh, either you have to search in Google or you have to search in those uh, books. Like okay, I need uh, like uh, to analyze the uh, like uh, I I need to load the Excel data because our uh, per se don't read uh, the Excel sheet. It read only comma separated value uh, sheet. Uh, so CSV file. So if I need to load the excel file need to import the data from the excel file then i need to uh, load this xls package how what how you will find that xls package that you will find from book or you have to search in that r pub uh, website which i showed or r package 
website which I mentioned in that other slide that you have to or simply in Google you can write okay importing data from Excel so it will uh, sometimes it will show you what are packages you need uh, to import Excel data uh, yeah sometimes it will show you so that is the thing so uh, so R is, this is the thing like in software uh, statistical packages is that like you have to keep on doing it it's not that uh, uh, like I also uh, faced the problem uh, in the sense that if I am I have done something like years back now I'm going to do I almost forgot like wh how uh, like how to go about it like how to do it so I have to start from the phrase uh, until unless you are not so expert in this like everything uh, not every time involved in this particular package everything will not be in your mind because uh, you know uh, this is uh, one example I'll uh, say you that tell you that okay uh, there are many packages two or two packages to read Excel data you can use Excel as package or you can use Excel X package so you then if you are not using Delhi uh, or not using working with R uh, regularly or making use of R uh, regularly you will forget it right you have uh, in that case like either you make a note okay either you make a make a uh, you know word sheet uh, or excel sheet where you can write like whatever package you are uh, going to use or you are using frequently you make a note of that uh, next time uh, like uh, after even uh, if you are not saving this work somewhere uh, or uh, uh, then uh, next time when you make you open a R then you will uh, like open that okay that what's it is there all the packages which I am going to use it is there let me see then you can copy it and paste it and run it uh, that is that is so how it, how to get a particular package depends upon like what you are trying to do if you are doing to going to do panel data for that a different package is there if you are going to do simple OLS there is different packages there if you are going to do time series analysis different packages there so if you are using and within the time series package there are many things are there so if you are using doing always time series analysis so package TST or TS see I forgot also so uh, is there so yes, so generally the point is that if you yeah. are uh, something doing yeah, because being working with the r you can learn over that yeah, yeah you can learn whether this package is available in the r or not if it is not then what we need to do mm -hmm. whether we need to install or that this is what is yeah. learning by doing yeah no, so, okay. so you can go through the book and you can see whether this package is uh, inbuilt in the r or not yeah, if it yeah. is not then we have to follow this uh, yeah, process that, that is the thing which is there. Uh, the Getting the point, Javier? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So, this is all. So, okay. Then uh, let's uh, uh, like do some exercise in R. So, uh, so, for that, we need to understand like how data, how R read data. So, there are actually these five data format. Uh, like are recognized data in this five uh, data format so this is like ABCD of uh, like if you don't know the ABCD you can't uh, uh, form a word you can't form a sentence or you can't form a, a paragraph so this is the ABCD so you have to you have to understand this thing otherwise it's very uh, you know you will only do whatever is there you can't do whatever is what what is not there so you have to understand this uh, very carefully so so we have in R, we have vectors. So uh, since it is based on S programming language, we don't have scalar concept here. If you uh, look at the C programming language and Stata programming Stata, Python and SAS, so we have there you have scalar vector matrix uh, and uh, array. They don't have data frame and list. So so what is a scalar and a uh, vector so scalar is a particular uh, value in the sense like if you say a or two these are scalar hmm. right so but r 
recognize it as a vector like it's a one uh, like it's a like vector one so if you have all the like one to ten number it is a column vector now so uh, and uh, vectors are uh, this is this is the example of matrix array data frame so you have this is a row vector you have uh, row into column this is a matrix then combination of matrix you can break matrix into uh, array and our data frame is the like basic data which R reads and list contain everything so I'll give example of this thing i'll give example of vector matrix and data frame least and uh, array we don't use frequently in r so that is not that uh, important till for now if you go to advanced r programming then you may need this thing so what is a vector vectors are one dimensional array that can hold numerical data for example birth date of all the students of Atmaram College, bath year, a bath day. So, or it's it it can hold uh, character data, names of all the students of Atmaram College, Economics Department, Atmaram College. It can hold logical data in like that means fractional and all those data. So, this is one example. So, I am taking. Are you are you getting? Hello. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So this is this is uh, uh, an example of vector. Vector, as I told, it can hold numeric data, character data, logical data. So this these are all character. Audi, audi, audi. This is an example uh, of like car manufacturer. Their mileage. Their uh, you know. Uh, uh, there, how they are, whether there is manual, auto, all these things. So I'll explain each uh, and in which year they, that is manufactured, whether it is, uh, what is their, uh, you know, engine displacement uh, thing. So this is why I'm using this particular example is that this data set is inbuilt, is there inside R. If you go if you go like after this class if you want to do some exercise you can look into this particular data then you can uh, you know uh, you can it will be more helpful like in the sense like you can do practice uh, yeah so so this is this is a character this is also a character you can see character are saved within uh, this parenthesis and this is a logical thing uh, logical data so this this is your, your numeric all these green color uh, are numeric so you can see that a vector contains can hold character and numeric data but that's a difference what is the difference can anyone tell me from here what is the difference like anyone The difference is that a vector can't hold numeric and character character data simultaneously. You can see that these all are like in one format, one format, one format. There is no mix up. So this is the uh, this is vector. So if you I want to call, I want to see what I, what is data, what are the data available in R. So I just have to write R. I just have to write manufacture. If I this uh, and one one additional thing, this is the benefit of preparing slides in R. If I'll write the same thing in R, I'll get my results will appear like this. No need to go into R and type manufacture. I, I, so this is a kind of practical it, uh, in the sense. If I'll write manufacture there, I'll get this this type of uh, result. I'll get same thing so and this and all your code when you are preparing slides or uh, those things all your quotes and all your results will be here if you uh, like we'll go to next slides you, you can see the advanced quotes and advanced results are also uh, uh, there so all these if you 
can if you call this manufacturer you will get the result okay these are these are the car manufacturer all these audi uh, since i since i created only only i i have taken only audi example audi is there uh, so and that this way you can call a particular vector uh, that is then you have matrix format so matrix we all know is a two dimensional array each element uh, each element has the same mode uh, it's same like uh, vector it can't uh, contain uh, data of different uh, structure so if you have numeric data it can contain only numeric data only character only logical but it can't mix up the thing like some character and some numeric some character and some logical some logical and some numeric no that can't happen like that matrix is not matrix in r is not capable of holding that so you can see that you have like all i i, I created how to create a matrix you can see i i called i took all the number from 1 to 30 i arranged those in five rows and six column so this is the function for matrix so i am creating a new variable here display and i am saying r that you create a matrix which contains 30 uh, elements or 30 vector 30 vector is more appropriate 30 vector which are of numeric in nature uh, and save those vectors in arrange those vectors in five rows and six columns and again if i write display uh, or print display it will give me the result it will show me that okay in in your first row first column you have one and sixth fifth row sixth column you have 30 so this is the way now you know matrix addition subtraction multiplication so you can do uh, simple is a matrix so uh, and the basic rule for matrix uh, multiplication is that your uh, column and row should uh, be of equal dimension so uh, it's just simple you multiply just multiple sign multiply sign the star sign and uh, display multiplied by uh, like another matrix of six rows and uh, one column yeah that will help then then now i'll show you how to create a matrix you can create a matrix itself also like suppose if you want to create a matrix of all the final year last semester students of uh, atmaram college you can create it so i created for uh, this uh, this car uh, manufacturer so if you have you have the name you have uh, suppose you, you want to see only the names or or the, they are numbers like uh, like uh, aggregate numbers in the last semester uh, so that way so 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 uh, you have to if it is name then you have to save in this format double quote or parent quote inside that a particular name then sub then you have to give this row name and column name right so then once you done this thing you have to combine those things within the r package within the within this matrix uh, box one minute one minute okay hmm. okay within this matrix um, uh, matrix uh, within this you have then you have to call matrix then specify the variable which you created then specify the number of rows and column keep in mind that when you are specifying number of rows and column you also have to see that whether uh, you know it is uh, getting adjusted suppose i have uh, four variable four variables of uh, four vectors uh, are here 
uh, yeah, four uh, four uh, names are here. Now I want to save in uh, this thing into two by two uh, column, two 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 row and two column matrix. So it will it will easily get fit into that. Suppose if you want to create three rows and two columns, sometimes it create problems. So that is that what I am saying. So now this if you then after doing that if you want to see you just type the this matrix name it will create also show you name so i'll i'll show you like uh -huh. then uh, this is the thing this is th the thing about matrix what what we have to keep in mind is that vectors like uh, a a single number or a single character in r is not a scalar it's a uh, is a vector and vectors can contain character numeric and logical data but you, uh, you can't mix character with logical and character with numeric uh, and similarly matrix can be the uh, you can take uh, vectors of a similar nature in the sense vectors numeric vectors and create a matrix out of that and but a matrix similarly similar with uh, a similar as uh, similar with this your uh, uh, vector it also can't contain data of different types so that is the basic difference so and and another one is your data frame sure. yes uh, so the previous in the previous slide you've shown a particular way of writing it in R, right? So I yeah. tried that, but it shows that uh, there is error. So I do not understand who it is wrong in the way I wrote it. How how you did it? Like so, sir. I was trying to write for Carl. So first I wrote wrote C, then I did the double apostrophe, and then I put one bracket, and then I put a car, and then I put one in a bracket, and closed the apostrophe, and then comma car two, and uh, obviously mm -hmm. apostrophe four, and then two, and then closed apostrophe B, and then I closed the whole bracket, assuming there are only two cars to be arranged. So then I yeah. pressed enter, and then it's saying that there is an unexpected string constant in C. Uh, like it's okay. Like then, then string, string, it's strings are that like if that I told like if you have character and you have to see uh, check like whether it is uh, you have put all the characters or all the, the data should be either characters or numeric. It should not be like character and numeric. Uh, so if it is string is actually your character. String means you have some character some some. Uh, figure is in character and some figure is in numeric. Check uh, that. That is the so, okay. But sir, here there is auto L5, manual M5, manual M6, right? I've written in the same way car one, car two, car three. I mean, I, I don't understand why that is wrong. Okay, okay. Uh, okay okay that uh, then that will see that will see but because i can't see what you are doing now so uh, i can't uh, correct it now but you keep that you keep that i'll share uh, this thing with uh, balakrishna sir so uh, then uh, it will be more you can uh, see like how i have written it and how what mistake you are doing okay uh, so okay, okay. So, yeah 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 okay so uh, <clears throat> then we'll go to data frame so uh, so so it's a more general version of matrix so it uh, uh, the you know is the basic format of uh, our data in the sense R. whenever you import a data or uh, uh, saved uh, imported data R read it as a data frame not any other format this is the default format of uh, data format for R so so and inside the data frame you unlike matrix and vector you can save data of different nature you can save numeric data character logical string whatever so but there is a one one problem is that 
if the data must be of equal length suppose i created suppose i suppose i uh, uh, i i created this all are in equal length so hard one be in like instead of five four and i combine those into a data uh, frame it will not create it will not get created if i put some so one one name which is like display or something in it which is having only four element and others are in five elements uh, are five elements so it will not create a data frame it will so problem that unequal length detected so that is the thing so data frame uh, like th this is the important thing to keep in mind that uh, like our read our basic data for reading format is your data frame format so that is and when you are uh, doing some other analysis when going going to do time series analysis you have to convert this data frame into a time series data uh, until unless you have uh, converted you can't uh, do that thing like you have to that is the minimum requirement so so now I, I, this is this is the uh, data this this is the whole data in the sense like i'm using uh, this data because it's available inside r and if you want to uh, not inside r you have to load this particular package gg plot 2 package like you have to install it uh, intentionally i have done this thing uh, so if you want to do you have to install install it and call gg plot library and library and and within once you call that you can call your uh, the data which this particular uh, ggplot uh, package used so this package used uh, car data it shows like uh, product manufacturer of cars which model they are using their year of uh, year of uh, production then you have uh, cylinders you have uh, transaction is your uh, what is that um okay this thing okay uh, okay I'll, I'll okay oh this is this is like whether it is car is manual or automated uh this is your uh uh drive is your free and uh something 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 so it is uh sit per mile uh like uh, in city how much like per per liter petrol how much uh kilometer it is uh going to cover this mileage within the city and within the highway so you can see that all these data are in different different format this is character character uh, integer number number character character all these things so uh, and uh, this i have shown you this thing and if i'll click it now it will show four to eight and all this so you have uh, uh, around uh, two thousand something observation here so uh, so this is basically this is why i'm showing this thing to you is that data in r looks like this it will it looks like this so this is like giving you a like picture like if i do that this thing in the r i'll get this only and here it is more clear because uh, uh, you know uh, it will uh, r it will show in a like you know very complicated way in the sense uh, hashtag 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 on the left side but here it is more clear um <laughs> that is the thing so now now let's like get into this r uh, data data frame okay so we have this data but so now uh, like what i'm uh, going to do is that uh, you know to give some basics about this data frame because this is the uh, main thing which uh, like whenever you are going to uh, do some analysis you have to deal with this data frame data frame data you have to declare that data is in data frame there if data is not in data frame you can't do many analysis like so so uh, once your data is in uh, this format then you have to see like what uh, the, the, for this particular data we know that this variable is in character format this for is an integer this is numeric suppose you got a data you don't know uh, how what these variables are because when you have a 
you have a variable which is character or which is in character format you can't actually plot it okay you have you can uh, you can't plot a uh, like a bar plot with that no you can't plot a like uh, a graph with that so basic thing is that we need to first when you are getting a data you need to uh, have an have an idea that what this data contain like how this table how these variables are arranged what is the nature of this variable in r we uh, have this thing structure str str like structure of data what is the i am i am saying r what is the structure of data hmm i if i'll go to r and type the same thing same thing will come str uh, then uh, it will uh, it will ask me feed one name like what is the name of your data frame this is uh, the name of my data frame uh, str uh, inside uh, mpg if you put it will so it will give this result exact same result will come there is no difference so uh, this thing so it will show you that okay you have 234 rows and 11 columns these rows are uh, 11 columns are your uh, variables right so then you can see each variable it uh, is showing like okay it's available from 1 to 20 234 it's in character format is in numeric format displays numeric format year is in integer format then uh, in, this is an integer numeric numeric yeah that is so uh, so so the idea uh, is that you have you must know uh, like data fully before going to do any analysis so that will give you you know more clarity on what you are doing and why you are doing that is most important why i am doing this and what i am doing this what why uh, yeah that that those things so then if i want to see like what are the variables are there i just type names and mpg so it will show me what all variables are there so yeah that is the thing there are 11 so you can count it this is uh, this is the 1 6 11 11 there are 11 variables uh, yeah so when you are doing in r so no need to like see like count each so you can see on the left side starting of uh, starting left side uh, you can see this number of observation number is there so that is the thing so yeah sir in this a4 character numeric is together now you said that they can't come together in r a a4 yes sir second line no Or this is this is not this is character see uh, this is not uh, this is not numeric uh, this is character whenever you can see here it is saying it's character right character whenever a particular variable particular thing is uh within this uh, two parentheses then you can you can uh, like say you that is in character uh, that is in character format so if i'll put this two parentheses here also it will become a character so uh, in uh, like most of the statistical software packages so character is recognized or character is uh, feeded in that format you put two parentheses and everything inside that is in character okay so if you have a name you have to write that that way if you have a number you no need to put character because you know that is numeric so so you have to see here this is a character this is a character and also here also you can see these are in put quoted yeah that is the so even though there is four but since it is inside your parenthesis you can it is in character have a number and alphabet both but it should be under two inverted commas no no uh, that see when when there is a alphabet it comes uh, it it is a alphabets are generally characters right alphabets are characters name uh, place name a b c d letters these are character so and whatever you combine with character that will become a character uh, and no software read that uh, as a integer or number so whatever you have associated with character that is a, like if you a a4 
a 10 it is a character or 10 a that is a character also only so when that when your data is like that so all these softwares they read that data as in uh, character format because they have their default programming uh, log uh, algorithm inside it whatever comes with character associated with character is character so that what like whatever you multiply with zero with zero so that way whatever all is associated with character that is character either you have to separate it you have to separate a and a and four uh, then it become a then four is your all numeric but until that this is a character you got it yes sir yeah yeah so now uh, so uh, and uh, this, this thing so you got the like what what are the data structure then uh, what are the data structure uh, then uh, how to get like how to know that this is uh, the structure this is the like format of a particular uh, like variable or uh, then how to get the names of the variables which are there inside uh, this particular uh, data frame so by clicking only names and names so uh, then suppose you have a huge data set okay here we have 243 uh, rows and 11 columns but i want to see okay like first like to get an idea okay whether all these data are there and how it is so i you just uh, you can check like head this is the command you can write head data frame name and up to 10 10 rows i want to see if i want to see 20 rows i can write it if i want to see 100 rows i can write it also if i want to see 124 rows i uh, i can write also there uh, similarly you can see data from its like uh, end part tail so if you write tail this tell this it will come it will show you that okay uh, at the like data uh, like from last 10 observation you have uh, you uh, this see in the first 10 observation i have audi 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 uh, manufacturer in the last in the last 10 observation i have volkswagen in volkswagen i have uh, uh, yeah so uh, what is this uh, year uh, like each uh, car producer what is like whether they are manual or auto in uh, per cities how so it's, it's why i'm showing you this thing is because like uh, you know to uh, like when you go into your like uh, you know advanced uh, like class masters or uh, like you if you are doing uh, we are going to like do research all this work like when you in, get involved into a large data set you want to first cross uh, first check okay how these observations are and uh, uh, like how uh, yeah whether it is uh, you know properly organized all those things you, for that you need to check the data this way so that is the thing so that is the importance of uh, looking at the head and tail part and uh, yeah few observations and few names of and knowing the uh, like what type of data it is what is whether it is character integer or numeric all those things so that is the basic idea so and in data frame with all these commands head tail uh, str names you can do that so then once you uh, thing then uh, you you can get a summary of all these variables by simply writing summary mpg right hello hello yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, so this this thing i am not showing here there because if i this this is the same so summary command mpg if i write there i'll get the same result only it will show in this format only so there is no 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 difference at all so so if you write uh, summary and your data frame name you will see all these uh, like uh, length minimum maximum standard deviation uh, mean median quartile uh, all those things okay so so that is that is the but this is the summary format so okay so this is most important this is very important so uh, is that uh, suppose you have a data frame right and uh, you have like uh, information uh, of all uh, the students of atmaram college 
their name, their mark, uh, and the year of their uh, you know joining. Uh, but you want to see only what is the uh, only the mark column and the name column. You don't want to see their year of joining. And similarly, you can imagine you have. Uh, you can also imagine in this way you have a large data set you have many uh, 20 30 column uh, like data set and uh, 20 30 uh, like 200 300 400 rows type uh, data set now you want to see a particular uh, column okay i want to see the name column like who are the people like who and their age so if uh, if you want to see that you, you can also do that uh, in our very easy way. So I have done this thing for uh, uh, the, uh, the the car data which I am using. So suppose uh, I want to see that uh, cylinder, like whether how many cylinder, uh, like uh, in car you have like uh, two cylinder, three cylinder, all those things, voila, uh, information. So then I want to see that particular column, that particular column, so uh, then I know that that particular uh, column, I'll show you. See, this particular column is in the fifth column of this data frame NPG. So what I have to do, I have to tell R that you give me that particular column, that all the rows of that particular column. So then for that, I have to create a new variable. You can create a new variable that is the you have if you are creating new variable it is getting stored all the information which are now feeding into that particular variable it will uh, it will be there so you can directly write this thing but the best practice is to write this thing cylinder and this uh, like how uh, this uh, arrow then your data frame name this is mpg the uh, main data frame from that i want to see all the rows of fifth column that means uh, comma and fifth comma before this comma there is nothing because i want to see all the rows if i want to see only first 10 rows i can write 10 here then a comma then five so that will uh, give me the first 10 rows of this particular variable which is there in the fifth column of my data frame. Okay. Now, once I created, I want to see the summary of that particular variable by typing the summary. So you will see, you, you see the this summary, this mean is 5.88. So if I'll go to this, you can see here, there is no, not, no difference, 5.889 right this one that means the var variable which i created is correct in the sense i have taken all these rows of this particular variable this is the way so you have to specify either uh, you have to spec uh, specify the name sometimes when you are specifying the name and uh, sometimes it is create problem and confusing it's best is to specify the column and suppose if you want to see the first row of, I think I have that. Okay. Uh, okay. This is uh, first. Suppose if you want to see first row of all these variable, then you have to write one here. Uh, then this should be blank. There should be nothing. So that all the columns and first row. So in same way, if I want to see the uh, all these uh, like four, five, six, that means your uh, cylinder, city and uh, highway mileage. Uh, so I, I can write, I have to write this thing, data frame with this bracket. Then this person before comma, there is blank and then column names. It will show me that what is the, yeah, there is this, okay, huh, okay. Uh, it, it will create a, another variable. So this, this is a mistake. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, okay. 
will correct it. Mm, yeah, this is the uh, way. Okay. Then <clears throat> suppose. Okay. Suppose you want to create a uh, full new data uh, from the old data. The there is a default command is subset command. So in that thing, I want to see that uh, in 2000 year, how many manual car which are manually operated are there. So, so for that, I, I created a new variable called subset uh, this mpg. Then this is your command subset. Then you have to call the data frame. Then year in you have to say in which year 2008 it is and which variable I want to see in transaction uh, trans you have to see is manual or if if it is auto then it will so it will select all the other. So what after creating that I called it and uh, you can see that there are 16 rows and 11 columns all these like other variables are also there but if you can see here it is all manual 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 so and company manufacturers names are also vary that means character to like uh, Ford to Volkswagen so this this is like uh, one example is that if you have uh, all the uh, information about like uh, like students information about Atmaram college so if you want to see that uh, students of uh, last semester, sixth semester, fourth semester of economics department, then uh, you can uh, take that particular, uh, take the whole data and specify this way. Semester is your sixth, then department is economics, then and this is a whole data name, it will give you the uh, the information about the uh, students of uh, like economics department, uh, yeah, students of economics department. So uh, this is the way. So when you have a large data set, you can, uh, you know, if you want to see a, some specific part of it and, and make use of some specific part of it, uh, you can do this subsetting, subsetting. So you can anywhere you can apply this thing any data set you can apply this thing uh, if you have 50 years data for uh, gross domestic product if you want to see only five years then you can do years uh, in gdp uh, data then year is uh, this thing this to this so you can do this this is this this is the way this is the way so that is the thing Hello. Hello. Yes. 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 So then, uh, okay. Up. Uh, this is uh, this is a brief uh, uh, about like what is R, how to get R, how to uh, you know uh, know about like different data structures of structure of R. What is the main uh, data like format R uh, recognize, and how to like get different different subsets of data and different C different different subsections sections of data. So this is uh, uh, it's just just a brief. There are many things I can uh, like we can uh, share. But uh, since it is only two days, it is uh, it's very you know within this small uh, you know limited time. I have to show you like this is just a glimpse of it. Like what we can do. Uh, with data frame, so uh, that's why uh, you might feel that grade is a little less, but uh, you can reach me anytime or we can uh, meet anytime else. We can discuss about that. So, so that is the thing. So, okay. <laughs> so once this thing is done, uh, another uh, the most important thing is like visualizing data or graphics. Like how to uh, you know plot data, how to see like what is increasing, what whether it is increasing, whether GDP figures are increasing, decreasing, or uh, yeah. So there uh, with uh, and the for a uh, software package, uh, this statistical software package, graphics is a uh, like 
uh, graph fix part is the most important part like you know if you go to any job market or if you going to any uh, you know private uh, organization or you are doing research so uh, like uh, if you have like aware about like to do sophisticated plotting uh, sophisticated graphs uh, you know it uh, now your document and your whatever research or work you are doing it will will add value to it like it will look awesome uh, it will look very uh, nice and uh, you can actually it's not only nice actually you can infer many things from a graph uh, so uh, graphic is uh, graph uh, like plotting graphics all those are uh, very important so and r it is like most of the uh, statistical packages uh, have this thing um, and, but in r uh, it's like um, ultimate in the sense like a lot of things uh, there are uh, since uh, r is uh, you know uh, a, a software where uh, a private like individual like you and me can write code and uh, include it with the permission of our development code team uh, we uh, there are many uh, software uh, this graphic package is developed and uh, they are uh, uh, like super nice kind of thing what i wanted to say uh, want to say so uh, so but apart from that apart from external graph uh, like packages are it's is having its own core uh, you know uh, plotting graph package uh, in build uh, format so that we'll see now then i will go to ggplot which which is like you know uh, like uh, so far say like uh, so most advanced graphical package so far so yeah that is then uh, first we'll see the r plot like what r if you don't have anything any other packages what r can r will going to go give you like if I, you, we are not including or loading installing and calling any other outside packages only by using r how can we uh, uh, plot so that is the thing so basic plot i'll not i'll show uh, maybe next class or maybe at the end when i'm using ggplot i'll show you advanced plot but this is the basic plot i have two variables uh, one is your x another is your y x content this five one two three four five and uh, y content three seven uh, eight nine ten i want to plot this thing so simple it's plot x y okay plot and plot x y okay now now you'll say okay this is uh, uh, there is no uh, x column x uh, what is the name of x uh, like uh, uh, horizontal uh, like there is no legend uh, we say there is no legend x y title of graphs is not there graph is not there so we can do that and we can modify it see the same same x y what i'm showing saying are that you plot with page is the the size of this uh, dot b grade uh, so what is the format i'm uh, saying that it should color is black but uh, it's like uh, in between it is red so that means it is b grade main is uh, main is your graph title this is main then i'm saying r you label it label it as x axis and y axis so suppose if you have uh, two variables whatever variables you take you can use the same thing to plot it like whatever variables you have but uh, uh, these simple variables right you, uh, simple variables like it's like you have not you are not saying that it is a time series graph and uh, panel graph for that it is complicated that we are going to cover in the next class or some bit in this graph, uh, this class. So it's just simple one variable you have taken, like how many times it uh, ran today, or how many mark I uh, got from uh, like uh, from my uh, uh, first standard to uh, up to graduation. So this this will be your uh, number of marks, and this this will be your number of years uh, in which year you will got uh, got the mark. Then you plot this way title it as uh, your mark 
uh, obtained in different different classes. So you can do it. This is a very basic graph. So another is that box plot. So box plot for box plot, I am using that particular uh, data, uh, car data. It is showing uh, that you, this is the put command for your box plot. Box plot, mpg mileage per gallon. How many cylinder wala, uh, like type uh, uh, car is that? Then data is your empty car. Then your X level, Y level. Then your title of that car. So this is a box plot. Now you have to interpret it. So if you you interpret it, if you it is saying that with high like with a larger number of cylinder, that means smaller cylindrical car, cylinder cars are like non SUV cars. It is showing that with less number of uh, less cylinder uh, having a car having less cylinder, the mileage is higher. On an average, mean is it's around 26 or 27. But when you go to SUV, uh, cars having higher cylinders, you have mileage is only 15. So this way, you can this is this this is like to get information from the data with uh, like, you know uh, with plot and uh, graphs so that is this is the thing you can this way you can box plot but uh, i want to show you one more thing is that uh, what we cover is that okay one thing i missed i think okay this is uh, okay here you can customize it uh, the same dot plot you customize you can customize it in many different way uh, that is uh, then this box plot then i want to show you the time series plot okay so for time series plot uh, as i mentioned that uh, see r don't have everything inside it but you you can uh, include many things many thing many packages and use uh, uh, you can and compute uh, uh, like what is required uh, so uh, and uh, for time series analysis you we have a graph of time series analysis like the main package uh, time series, uh, main package is t series uh, then this this two t series package is based on ju and stock change package so when you are calling this t series it is it will by default Call this zoo package and stock change package. So why structure package? The structure package, stock change package. We'll explain uh, later. So when you are, hello, hello, yes, Samrathi, do you want to take some rest or uh, I think time is? Uh, no, no. We'll, we'll finish it. We'll finish it uh, by one fifteen. It's okay. Right. Yeah, we'll finish it by one fifteen. So it's uh, less is there. Uh, only one GG plot part is there. So this is the uh, thing. You have uh, T series. Uh, so all these packages you have to call. Then you can able to do a time series plot. So this is the plot of net domestic product of India. So type is line plot, X level uh, year, Y level NDP, and color is blue. Uh, this one one is. Uh, so this this even if I remove it, there is no. Uh, like I, think, I think students are very much aware about time series data and cross section yeah, yeah. data. Uh, time, time series plot part will cover. There should not be any confusion. Yeah, yeah. Time so, yeah, yeah. Time series part will cover tomorrow, uh, fully. So this 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 way you can plot a time series part. So uh, now we'll go to uh, GG plot. This is a very uh, advanced graphic uh, plotting uh, graph package. So what we have to do is that before we, uh, running it, we have to the same way we have to install it ggplot. Now ggplot2 is there, not ggplot only, ggplot2. Then we have to load it as uh, calling library ggplot2. Then graph, there is nothing else. This package is only for graphic, uh, like plotting and all those things. So here you can see I, I plotted the same thing, distribution of car by mileage. like. Uh, 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 that means like how many cars uh, and how many uh, like uh, like uh, like how many cars are below giving tail mileage 
around i have data for 242 cars we from that only uh, you know very less number of cars are you can interpret this graph as your uh, you know uh, most of the cars are showing mileage from 15 to around your uh, 25 something the number is very high so 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 mm, so so the objective is not to interpret interpret the graph the objective is to show you like how to do in uh, ggplot so this is the thing so uh, when you are using any function you have to uh, mention it this way function name bracket start and bracket end inside that you have to put whatever you want this is okay so this is your uh, empty car then this is her histogram command for uh, like you have line uh, gmo if it is line then it will plot a line then you saw uh, x lav number of uh, x level y level distribution curve this way this is then uh, you can do it like you know uh, dot and uh, ab line kind of Uh, thing you can do a you know uh, fitted uh, you can fit a regression line and plot it inside the uh, graph to see like how whether the number of uh, you know cars are uh, uh, moving around their you know mean value or fitted uh, value so it is it is saying that so uh, the the command is the same simple you just yeah then you can uh, plot in a, like this way also so why i am showing this thing is that uh, is that uh, i'm I just uh, you can just get a idea about like how you can plot like cool you can get cool graphs from uh, r so is very colorful graphs with lots of information and very appealing graphs so this is the uh, ggplot is uh, best for that and uh, ggplot is having their own community so uh, gmail community so if you type in google ggplot community so it will uh, show you like if once you put your gmail address there every time every day you will get notification like people asking question like how to make this graph i am getting this problem with this graph people ask put their code uh, in the uh, in the group and they ask Uh, like others to help them to improvise their graph so it's a very helpful community so uh, you can do that so this much it's almost going to uh, one so we'll stop uh, today this much this is this is pretty basic uh, so i think like uh, i think uh, some uh, you might got something from this those who new are previously might not be this might session might not be so useful maybe tomorrow i'll uh, try to so in more detail so then uh, that is tomorrow basically will cover like uh, importing different different data type uh, into r then doing some like uh, simple regression uh, panel regression then some time series forecasting and unit root test seasonality and uh, structural break wall analysis mm -hmm. so this is the uh, part for today so i i hope that uh, it uh, is some, some 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 something you got from this uh, my presentation so yeah okay thank you thank you samruti thank you very much i i hope that uh, everybody uh, has get something not something anything from uh, today's you know lecture that basics about the the r how to install it and what kind of data that recognized the r and how you can do yourself by many more rather than what is in built in the in the r this is what is the beauty of you know the r that you can uh, do yourself uh, through you know learning by doing i think it yeah. was really fruitful
uh, fruitful for uh, as an individual for me because I even I do not know about the R. I am totally illiterate about the R because I'm using only you know state up, so I do not have any idea related to R. But whatever I got is that how to use the you know graphics and then what kind of data structure which is recognized by R and how we can have the different the command is almost I think uh, same in all the you know packages but if you see in case of that r r is uh, giving us some more you know that interface where we can do something uh, more mm. if you are innovative and if you are you know yeah. uh, trying to do something more then even you can help the, our group to you know design all that you know graphics yeah, yeah. And whatever that command and this is seems to be uh, much more better for the, the students and I hope that everybody gets something, many things from uh, today's lecture. And we will have more uh, hand on training tomorrow related to you know data interpretations, data importing, and how to get you know, regressions and all that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, initially, yeah. there was more than you know 95 uh, participants. Uh, now it seems, I think, including me, 19. So, it was uh, really as uh, the time was stretched uh, uh, high. Uh, uh, I didn't know that it's going, going like one. that is why maybe people are going for lunch, going for classes and something like that. Yeah. I hope everybody get uh, a good, uh, fruitful, uh, uh, you know, uh, the insight of this art uh, from today's lecture. Thank you, Samruti. Thank you uh, very much. Thank, thank, thank you. We have some, you know, advanced hand on training. We expect. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that is uh, teaching this software in uh, like webinar is really difficult. Like it's, it's like it's like a like expert, practical. So you have to be like in person and teach. And that I can understand. Even I am not doing nothing, anything. Just listening yeah, only yeah. about the so, lecture. So that like yeah, when people are making mistake, you go and check. Okay, what this right. mistake you are doing, and you can go that right. way. Uh, but one thing what we can do because uh, in our you know our duty is what we have to build some yeah. foundational you know that uh, uh, the, the the foundation of you, you we can build some foundation related to new thing among yeah. the st students this is what is our objective yeah, yeah, so yeah. many more the student has to learn by themselves so that is up to you, them how they are taking we can yeah, do yeah. is only that this much we can do yeah yeah, yeah. right yeah, because we know that we we have uh, you know started uh, learning these things in our you know ample and phd yes yes i, 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 I although they are very advanced students are very advanced few of them are doing uh, much better but not uh, all so we think that everybody should have some idea related to um, advanced technology like uh, yeah, uh, yeah. the statistical software Especially in case of our student, you know, who are in yeah, economic. Yeah. That yeah, is why I, we restricted uh, this webinar for only this workshop for only uh, our student. Uh -huh. We got, I think, uh, 137 uh, registration. Oh. Then we stopped, you know, registration. That uh, we know that this is, you know, <laughs> the technical limitation is up to 100. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah. was very good. Thank you. And uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. See you. And happy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank everybody. You. Thank you. Thank see you. See you tomorrow at 10 30. We will have more, you know, hand in practice tomorrow. Yeah. yeah Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Bye bye.